Governor Larry Hogan frequently uses the so-called positivity rate of coronavirus to justify decisions on the state's reopening and push schools to go back into in-person instruction. But the state's comptroller believes the rate the governor touts is unreliably low. We're now faced with this situation where we have an artificially low positivity rate being used by politicians to promote kids going back to school. What is the rate? That depends. As reported by the state, it stands at 3.8 percent, based on the number of tests calculated. The rate currently reported by the Johns Hopkins Coronavirus Center is the same, 3.8 percent, using a similar calculation. But Hopkins is also reporting a higher rate, 8.35 percent, based on a different calculation, the number of people tested. Hopkins started reporting the lower rate just two weeks ago. Franchot said it was due to pressure from the state. The governor's office denies that. Franchot won't back down. With cases rising, he said, the state's data needs to provide a more accurate picture of the spread of the virus. The problem is that it, the, the data is wrong. We're not rounding the corner in Maryland. It's, a still, a, it's still a big problem. And it directly impacts opening up businesses and opening up schools. We're all in favor of that. We just want it done safely. In a statement to us, a spokesman for Johns Hopkins said its experts have had conversations with the state about calculating positivity rates. All of this, the spokesperson said, is related to a change in how Testing is tracked by a national tracking project, and Hopkins uses that project for its testing data. Reporting live tonight from East Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.